Zach Stone here from electricalpereview.com, and you're about to watch a video on phasor diagrams for balance and positive sequence systems for the Power PE exam. Interested in learning more about our online class? Come check us out at www.electricalpereview.com. We'll see you soon. We're going to start with just one phaser. In other words, I'm going to prove to you what we just talked about towards the end of the, of the last slide. So I'm gonna switch over to orange just so I can match the color of this phaser down here. So example one says, fill in the remaining voltage phasers in the diagram below for a balanced and positive sequence Y connection. So here's our phaser diagram, right? All we know is the A phase voltage, All right? First step, I'm gonna start with the phaser that we already know, right? Our A phase voltage is, is what? Let's see, 120 volts at negative 80 degrees. Now, who can tell me if this is balanced and positive, what does the B phase voltage and the C phase voltage have in common with the A phase voltage that we already know? Magnitude, right? Same magnitude. Excellent. Good job, Carl. So I'm going to start like this. My B phase voltage and my C phase voltage also have a magnitude of 120 volts because the system is balanced. All right, starting with the positive sequence, can I solve for the angle for my B phase voltage and my C phase voltage? I sure can, right? Uh, but before I do, let's draw a roadmap. Let's draw a guide to help us. Here is a phasor diagram that we're gonna use as a roadmap for a positive sequence system. So positive ABC. If I use a reference of zero degrees for phase A, what phase is this down here for positive and balanced? This is B, right? How do I get from A to B? 120 degrees in what direction? Negative, right? This is lagging. And this makes this phase C, right? This is a roadmap. We're going to use this guide of our positive sequence system to fill in our remaining phase angles for the B and the C phase voltage. All right, B phase voltage, right? B down here. If we're coming from A, how do I get from A to B for positive sequence? So if I'm starting at A, if I'm starting down here at negative 80 degrees, how do I get to B? I'm going to do what? Subtract. 120 degrees, right? Perfect. We can say we're going to subtract 120 degrees or we're lagging 120 degrees. In other words, here's our roadmap. If I know the angle of A and to get to B, I lag by 120 degrees, right? Starting at A, lag by 120 degrees. All right, same exercise. This time, again, we know the angle for A, the A phase voltage, for a positive sequence system, ABC, how do I get from A to C? How do I get from A, negative 80 degrees, to C? We're going to take the A phase angle, negative 80 degrees, and we're going to do what to it this time? Yeah, this time we're going to lead by 120 degrees. Excellent job, Nadia. We're going to lead or add 120 degrees. All right, let's clean this up. So we've got no change to the magnitudes, right? We already know the phase angle for A. What is negative 80 minus 120 degrees? Who can tell me in the chat? What is negative 80 minus 120? Negative 200 degrees, right? Typically, when you're working in polar form, you always wanna stay plus or minus 180 degrees. Here's what I mean by that. Here's another roadmap. I'm gonna go back to orange. Um, let's see, negative 200 degrees, right? So starting at zero degrees, moving in the negative direction, here's negative 90, here's negative 180, here's about from zero, negative 200 degrees. Everybody agree? So if over here is zero degrees and over here is plus or minus 180 degrees, right? In other words, we can say minus 180 degrees 
is the same thing as plus 180 degrees, right? What's my angle here? What's my angle right here? What's 360 degrees minus 200? 360 minus 200 is going to give us positive 160 degrees. Everyone see that? In other words, from the positive direction, negative 200 degrees is the same as positive 160 degrees. Does that make sense? Now, if you're not sure, use your calculator. Watch this. So in my calculator, I have 120 volts, second complex, angle sign. I'm going to go ahead and put a parenthesis in here. I've got negative 80 minus 120. Gives us 120 volts at 160 degrees. See that? So if you're not sure, am I subtracting from 360? Am I adding 180? If you're not sure, just use your calculator. Use your calculator. All right, over here, um, last one, our C phase voltage, uh, negative 80 degrees plus 120 is how much? 40 degrees. Good job, Brandon. Quick off the draw. 40 degrees. So look, we started with just our A phase voltage, right? We started with just our A phase voltage. We just calculated the remaining B and C phase voltage because we know two things, right? We know what? We know it's balanced and we know it's positive. So let's go ahead and fill these in on the diagram above. So all I'm gonna do is, here's my A phase voltage. And here's another way we can look at it. I'm just gonna rotate this approximately, what? Negative 120 degrees, right? Right about, I'd say right about here. Here is our B phase voltage. See that, right? Either negative 200 degrees or, positive 160, right? Positive 160. All right, same thing. Um, if here's our B phase voltage, let's rotate this about 120 degrees in the other direction. That's pretty close. Here is V, C to neutral, or the C phase voltage, right? Same magnitude at 40 degrees. Uh, that's that's kind of closer to 45, isn't it? Uh, let's do it right about there. Look good to you guys? Should be uh, about 45 degrees, or I'm sorry, should be about five degrees off 45. Eh, close enough. All right. Um, our phase voltages are done. Let's do our line voltages. And for that, let's draw another phaser diagram roadmap. Let's draw this one uh, over here on the right side. If I'm dealing with a Y connection, that's positive sequence. Here's my phase voltage, right? V phase at, uh, we'll use zero degrees, right? This could be A phase, B phase, or C phase. How do I go from the phase voltage to the line voltage for balance and positive? I gotta do two things. Starting on my phase voltage, I get, gotta get bigger by 1.5. 7.3, right? We're multiplying by the square root of three and we're going to lead or lag by 30. Michael said lead by 30 degrees. You got it. So here's our line voltage. Let's move this a little right here. All right. Um, we know the A phase voltage. Let's calculate the A line voltage for balance and positive. All right, if I'm at my A phase voltage over here, what do I got to do the magnitude first? I got to multiply it by 120 degrees, right? I'm, oh, excuse me. Multiply it by the square root of three, right? Square root of three. So in other words, I'm going to start with 120 volts. That's the magnitude of our A phase voltage. And we're going to multiply it by the square root of three, okay? Next, I gotta do what to the phase angle? So let's start at the phase angle of our A phase voltage, negative 80 degrees. Here's my phase voltage in orange. How do I go from phase to line? I'm gonna what? Lead it by 30 degrees, right? We're just gonna add 30 degrees to our negative 80. 
All right. That's our A line voltage. What does the B and C line voltage have in common with our A line voltage for balanced and positive? Same magnitude, says Yusuf. Quick off the draw as always. Good job, Yusuf. Yep. So our B line voltage from B to C and our C line voltage from C to A all have the same magnitude as our A line voltage from A to B. Um, <clears throat> if I know my B phase voltage and I know my C phase voltage, if I know the phase angles, right? 160 degrees and 40 degrees. How do I go from the B phase and the C phase voltage to the B line and the C line voltage? We're going to go, what? Here's phase to line. We're going to also add 30 degrees. Yep. Add 30 degrees. We're leading by 30. Here's the A phase angle or the A, the a phase voltage angle, right? Here's the phase angle for the B phase voltage. Here's the phase angle for the C phase voltage. We're just gonna lead all of them by 30 degrees to get the phase angle for A line voltage, B line voltage, and C line voltage. All right, over here on the right, um, we'll do the first one, square root of three times 120. Second complex, hit our angle button. I've got negative 80 plus 30. Of course, this is pretty simple math. We could also probably do it uh, pretty quickly. We know that if I have a single phase voltage of 120 volts, we know that's a three phase what? 208, right? Typically call that just 208 volts. And phase angle of negative 50 degrees. All right, all of the magnitudes are gonna be 208 volts, right? All right. 160 plus 30, six, seven, eight, nine. That's going to give us more than 180. So we can either we can either draw it out and do it the long way, right? To keep the phase angle plus or minus 180 degrees, or we can just what? I'm just going to use an, uh, a magnitude of one. I'm use my calculator, magnitude of one, just to figure out the angle. Here's a parentheses, 160, I'm over here, right? 160 plus 30 is the same thing as negative 170 degrees. Makes sense? In other words, positive 190 is 10 degrees past 180 is the same as negative 170 degrees. Same thing. Not sure, just use your calculator. All right, last one. We can just do this in our head, can't we? 40 degrees lead by 30 degrees is how much? 70, right? 70 degrees. Good job, Jonas. All right, let's um, jot these down on the phasor diagram. Here's our A phase voltage. If I'm going to get from A phase to A line voltage. What do I do to the magnitude? Am I going to make it bigger or smaller? I'm going to make it bigger by a factor of the square root of three. And am I going to lead it by 30 or am I going to lag it by 30? I'm going to lead it by 30. Good job. So that's about what, maybe about right here. So here's V, A, B, right? Our complex A line voltage. Same thing here is V, B, N. Let's make the magnitude bigger by the factor of the square root of three. And we're gonna lag it by, excuse me, we're gonna lead it, lead it by 30 degrees. So here is approximately V, B, C, right? Which is 208 volts at negative 170 degrees. And last, our C phase voltage. To calculate our C line voltage, we multiply by the square root of three. And again, we lead it by 30 degrees. So that's approximately right there. V, C, A. All right. So is this pretty straightforward for balanced and positive? We've got one more example. We're going to do uh, balanced and negative. The same exercise, and then I'll stop and uh, take any questions uh, that haven't been answered yet in the chat. All right, so scroll down to page seven. Page seven is gonna be example number two. Fill in the remaining voltage phasors in the diagram below for a balanced and negative ACBY connection. Hey, that's it for this short video. We hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to learn more or if you're interested in joining our live class for the Power PE exam, please visit us at www.electricalpereview.com. We'll see you soon.